Hey guys, back here again at the Rhetoric 2017 Backstage Interviews. And here with me we have Prentice Powell. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. How are you? I'm good. First timer for both of us. Okay, so right? it's your first yeah, time too. Yeah, it's my first time okay, here too. Okay, that makes you feel so, a little yeah, bit. No, okay, you're cool. good. All I'm right. just as nervous as you, but maybe not as much because I'm not actually going to be in front of people. But yes, on the same boat. Yeah, you're cool. Yeah, so uh, for those who aren't familiar with you, where are you originally from? I am originally from Oakland, California. Okay. Um, still reside in the Bay Area. Right, yeah. yeah. So you're no stranger to this heat, right? Um, or is I, it not it, as hot it, as no, it is No, it's not here? this hot in the Bay. Yeah, okay. It's, it's definitely not this hot. <laughs> You're definitely so, more into like but I was in Arizona like, recently, yeah. which was 120 degrees, so this is a lot cooler than that, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. All right, so I want to know, what has your journey been like to get here to Rhetoric 2017? Ooh, um, my journey in general with, with poetry has been nothing short of a blessing. It's been uh, amazing. Um, as far as rhetoric is concerned, it's interesting because I applied three years in a row for rhetoric and mm -hmm. never made it uh, past the first round of mm -hmm. submissions. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just stopped applying, yeah. I think, oh, wow. and, and got an email um, earlier this year mm -hmm. and was asked to be one of the featured artists. Wow. So it was really interesting how, you know, you, you put in the groundwork mm -hmm. and you hear a million no's before you may hear a yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what this one felt like. So it's even more of a, um, a blessing to, to be here and finally have made the stage because wow. this was something that I personally really, really wanted to do. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, you know, this year's theme, I know you applied other years, but this specific specific year, our theme is hashtag no filter. Right. Right. So, giving God's timing and giving everything that's happening, your piece that you're going to do today, how does that correlate with the filter and what made you write the piece that you're going to be performing? Um, well, what I decided to do actually was write a bit um, to take portions of, of things that I was working on and kind of put them together to tell mm -hmm. a story. Most importantly for me today, um, the the most interesting or touching thing about mm -hmm. performing this evening is mm -hmm. that uh, my word, I, God gave me a gift, obviously, I totally believe that, mm -hmm. um, but churches don't welcome me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get to perform in churches. Mm -hmm. um, churches kind of seem very hesitant mm -hmm. uh, to allow me to share any of my work, mm -hmm. um, which uh, creates kind of a conflict. I'm a Christian. I'm I'm so knee deep in my journey with Christ right now that it's um, it's amazing. So to be on a stage that's Christian based, mm -hmm. that doesn't happen for me often. Mm -hmm. It never happens for me. To be honest with you, the only time other time I could think of was probably about three months ago at a local church, mm -hmm. um, and I was so thankful for them to allow me to do it because with my journey, mm -hmm. not feeling accepted in the same place where you go to seek worship and knowledge just kind of creates a different dynamic. So. Um, I am so thankful for P4CM for yeah. having me. No, we're, we're really so glad am. we could be that platform to yeah. demonstrate the gifts that God has given you. And I think it says a yeah. lot. So with the no filter, um, I'm here just to glorify God in the way that, right. that, that I'm into. Not to do anything extra, not to, you know, because I'm at P4CM, mm -hmm. put on a face, but I am mm -hmm. who I am. Yeah. You know, so I'm glad to be here. Yeah, right. Well, like I mentioned earlier, we're glad that we get to be that platform, Absolutely. which, you know, we're expecting over maybe like 3,000 people. That's amazing. Yeah, so how are you feeling? Oh, that's, yeah, nah. Yeah. I, I, I operate best in front of large groups of people. I'm really okay. an introvert. So yeah. off stage, I'm, I'm quiet. But if I'm on stage, I'm good. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, okay, nice. Well, I'm excited to hear your piece, but I want to know, what was the process in writing the piece that you're going to be performing tonight? Um, Just honesty. Um. Knowing that I'm in the house of God, what is it that I'd want to say? Um, what's most important for me is that I go and speak my truth in the way that he's given it to me mm -hmm. and, and not shape it, not construct it just because it's a Christian-based event. I am a Christian. Right. And the words that are channeled through me, I'm just a vessel. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that. So um, it was just, what do I want to say in the house of God? Because I don't get to do it. Mm -hmm. So this is the second time in my life yeah. that I've right. gotten to perform in church in front of fellow Christians. Right. So what is it that I want to do? And I mm -hmm. would like to be honest so God knows that I'm serious about my journey. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hope to meet people who can give me guidance, spiritual mm -hmm. guidance. You know, right. it's just really about um, being open, being honest, and being mm -hmm. vulnerable about where I'm at. Mm -hmm. um, and, and seeing what he does. I'm right. just looking forward to whatever it is that he does. Yeah, what do you hope the audience gets from your piece? Honesty. Honesty. Um, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, understanding that, you know, even though, you know, as fellow Christians, I'm sure, you know, there are a lot of Christians out mm -hmm. there, um, we're all in different phases. Right, you exactly. know, And I'm at a we're specific a phase. We're not a cookie cutter, yeah. Phase. And I'm exactly. not. I'm right. not at all. So yeah. um, just to be accepted. 
you know, yeah. that's that that would be the best thing. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's your first time here, but definitely not your first time performing in different places. Right. Um, so where can they follow you? Uh, you can follow me. Um, the most active is probably Instagram. Okay. Um, that's at Prentice Powell, P-R-E-N-T-I-C-E, Powell, P-O-W-E-L-L, 1906. So Prentice Powell, 1906. Um, I'm on Facebook and Twitter is at Follow Prentice. Yeah. And, uh, Go yeah. follow him if you want the real deal. Like he said. Well, it's just my honesty. Not, exactly. You know, you it's, it's, it's just, just me. honest man of God right here. <laughs> it, it's, it's my truth. It's how I deliver it. Right. And, you know, that's about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it, especially all the other artists, too. Yeah. I got a chance to research them. And yeah. I, Do I you know really any of the other artists? I don't or? know any. No? Okay. No. Yeah. So everybody that's on stage I'm meeting for the first time, right. which is amazing wow. as a writer to, you know, associate yourself with new writers. Yeah, being in a room with a bunch of creatives. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, that's yeah, awesome. especially the Christians, you know, yeah. like a lot of them be faith based. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's going to feed me more than anything yeah. else. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, no, that's awesome. All right. And also, don't forget to follow us at P4CM all throughout social media and check out our website. We'll see you guys next time. See y'all.